Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to your Christic celebration. Today is Friday after Ash Wednesday. Please all stand and let us welcome our Mass presider, Reverend Father Danichi Wee. We begin our celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgins, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Show gracious favor, O Lord, we pray, to the works of penance we have begun, that we may have strength to accomplish with sincerity the bodily observances we undertake. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord God, Cry out full-throated and unsparingly, Lift up your voice like a trumpet blast. Tell my people their wickedness and the house of Jacob their sins. They seek me day after day, and desire to know my ways, like a nation that has done what is just and not abandoned the law of their God. They ask me to declare what is due them, please to gain access to God. Why do we fast and you do not see it? Afflict ourselves and you take no, no note of it. Lo, 
On your fast day, you carry out your own pursuits and drive all your laborers. Yes, your fast ends in quarreling and fighting, striking with wicked claw. Would that today you might fast so as to make your voice heard on high? Is this the manner of fasting I wish, of keeping a day of penance, that a man bow his head like a reed and lie in sackcloth and ashes? Do you call this a fast, a day acceptable to the Lord? This, rather, is the fasting that I wish, releasing those bound unjustly, untying the thongs of the yoke, setting free the oppressed, breaking every yoke, sharing your bread with the hungry, sheltering the oppressed with the homeless, clothing the naked when you see them, and not turning your back on your own. Then your light shall break forth like the dawn, and your wound shall quickly be healed. Your vindication shall go before you, and the glory of the Lord shall be your rear guard. Then you shall call, and the Lord will answer. You shall cry for help, and he will say, Here I am. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A heart contrite and humbled, O God, you will not spurn. A heart contrite and humbled, O God, you will not spurn. Have mercy on me, O God, in your goodness, in the greatness of your compassion. Wipe out my offense. Thoroughly wash me from my guilt, and of my sin cleanse me. A heart contrite and humbled, O God, you will not spurn. For I acknowledge my offense, and my sin is before me always. Against you always, only have I sinned and done what is evil in your sight. A heart contrite and humbled, O God, you will not spurn. For you are not pleased with sacrifices. Should I offer a burnt offering, you would not accept it. My sacrifice, O God, is a contrite spirit, a heart contrite and humbled. O God, you will not spurn. A heart contrite and humbled, O God, you will not spurn. Please all stand to honor the Holy Gospel. good and not evil, so that you may live, and the Lord will be with you. Glory to you, Lord of God, Lord Jesus Christ. Glory to you, Lord of God, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. The disciples of John approached Jesus and said, Why do we and the Pharisees Fast much, but your disciples do not fast. Jesus answered them, Can the wedding guests mourn as long as the bridegroom is with them? 
The days will come when the bridegroom is taken away from them, and then they will fast. My friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. Topic about fasting is what our readings would want to discuss. Fasting. Sakto, biernes. But technically, in our faith, we only fast twice. During Ash Wednesday, and Good Friday. And what is fasting for us? No? Uh, for the ages 14 years old to 59 years old, and if you are not sick, no, you do fasting. And what is that? Uh, just eating one full meal a day. And then the others are small meals. Two small meals. Ganun lang. No? That's what fasting for us. No? But... Uh, since it's Friday and it's Lent, no, uh, we, we encourage abstinence instead. And what is abstinence? Yung pagpipigil muna. So that's why we don't eat meat. We don't eat meat. Mag, magtimpi muna. It's, it's like teaching yourself na magtimpi, to abstain. But our readings for today would want to discuss what fasting is in our first reading prophet isaiah tells the people a very sad reality about their fasting ganito magayuno yung mga tao and this is what prophet isaiah is telling them that they skip meals and endure hunger they bow their heads like a reed and lie in sackcloth and ashes. Yumuyuko na parang damo at nagdaramit ng sako at humihiga sa abo. All these they do because this is what the law requires. Sinusunod nila kasi yun ang sinabi ng batas. In short, they fast to fulfill a requirement. But the sad reality is they fast even if kahit na sila ng aapi, kahit na sila ay nakikipag-away, at kahit na sila ay nagre-reklamo. Look at how sad reality their fasting is Nagtitiis sa labas, pero sa loob, nakikipag-away, may galit. Hindi kumakain, nagtitimpi, pero pagdating sa pakikipag-away, walang pagtitimpi, walang pasensya. Ginagawa lang nila ang pag-aayuno sa ngala ng pangangailangan. They fast for the sake of requirement. Alam niyo po, naalala ko nung bata pa kami, no? may mga toka kaming magkakapatid kung sino ang mag-aayos ng lamesa, kung sino ang uh, magliligpit, at kung sino ang maguhugas. No? We take turns. No? Pero, paggabi, dyan kami nagkakatalo. No? Kasi, paggabi, Matagal kaming kumain. Dahil sa dami ng kwento ng tatay ko, sa dami namin ng kwentuhan, matagal kaming kumain, uh, matigas na yung kanin dun sa, sa pinggan. Di ba? Tatuyo na yan. Tagal na hugasan. No? Gagawin mo, ibababad mo muna sa tubig, tapos magiintay ka muna no? bago mo hugasan. Ikaw, kung ikaw ang nakatoka, maghugas, three hours po kami bago matapos kumain eh. No? So, late na ng gabi. No? Yung nagligpit, yung nag-ayos, na kapatid mo, matutulog na. No? Ikaw, nandun ka pa sa kusina, naguhugas. No? Mabigat ang loob. No? Naguhugas ka, pero ang daming sinasabi. 
no? Galit ang loob. Masama ang loob. Kaya nga, hindi maiwasang hindi makabasag. Bakit? Kasi wala sa loob yung ginagawa. Parang ganito yung sinasabi ni Propeta Isaias sa pag-aayuno ng mga tao noon. Ginagawa nila ng hindi bukal sa loob. Sumusunod kahit masama ang ginagawa sa loob para lang masabi na nagawa ang pag-aayuno kahit labag sa loob. Imagine, tinutupad mong batas pero labag sa kalooban. May nilalabag ka at ang matindi doon, yung kalooban mo ang nilalabag mo. Kaya nga, ganun na lang kung makatanong itong mga alagad ni Juan Bautista kay Jesus. Kung bakit hindi nag-aayuno ang kanyang mga alagad. Pero sila at ang mga pareseyo malimit. Dahil ang pinanggagalingan nila ang kahulugan ng pag-aayuno na dapat sinusunod ayon sa batas. Pero para kay Jesus, ang pag-aayuno ay isang disposition ng puso. Kaya nga, ginamit niya ang imahe ng pagdadalamhati. He used the image of mourning para ipaliwanag ito. Sabi niya, hindi nagdadalamhati ang mga panauhin sa kasalan habang kasama nila ang lalaking ikinasal. Totoo naman, di ba? Hindi mo pwedeng diktahan ang disposisyon ng puso. Hindi mo pwedeng turuan kung anong yung nararamdaman. And that is also goes with fasting. Pwede kong sabing huwag kumain, mag-fasting ngayon, pero kung hindi naman yan ang laman ng iyong puso, nilalabag mo rin ang iyong kalooban. Abstinence, no? nag-abstain ka nga, hindi kumain ng baboy, pero kinain mo naman seafood. Diba? Asan doon? Mas mahal pa yung seafood ngayon. Diba? So, it, it is more of an interior activity of the heart than the exterior. That's what fasting is about. My dear brothers and sisters, the church is teaching us that fasting is one of the three forms of penance that we do during Lent next to praying and almsgiving. It's a form of penance. But more than a teaching, since it is a form of penance, it should be done voluntarily and not only as compulsory. For it is the will and the disposition of the heart that motivate a person to fast. It is the will and the disposition of the heart that motivate a person to fast. Amen. Jesus is the eternal bridegroom who ushers us to the joy of the heavenly banquet. In his passion, we would be taken away from his disciples. May our, our Lenten dis discipline mark our solidarity with the Lord as we pray and say, Lord, give joy to our life. Lord, give joy to our life. May the church never forget that she is the bride of Christ, espoused to him forever. We pray, Lord, give joy to our life. May nothing destroy the supernatural joy of Easter in us, even if we are undergoing moments of trials and darkness. We pray, Lord, give joy to our life. 
May fraternal love increase our capacity for joy. May we not focus primarily on our needs, which invites a joyless existence. We pray. Lord, give joy to our life. May we not fear going to the friends of society to find Jesus who is already there in the hearts of our brothers and sisters, in their wounded flesh, and in their sorrows. We pray. Lord, give joy to our life. When separation and death take our beloved ones away from us, May we not give in to despair, but draw assurance from Jesus who promised that our sorrow would turn into joy. Lord, give joy to our life. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community, those who seek intercession of Virgen de Guia and our personal intentions. We pray, Lord, give joy to our life. Father, may we keep the lamps of our faith burning in this life and so merit to enter the banquet of eternal life with the eternal bridegroom who lives and reigns with you forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of the hands for the praise and the glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. We offer, O Lord, the sacrifice of our Lenten observance, praying that it may make our intentions acceptable to you and add to our powers of self-restraint. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts that freed from disordered affections, they may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold rather to the things that eternally endure. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray 
by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, Jose our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with him and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Please all stand. Let us pray. We pray, Almighty God, that through partaking of this mystery, we may be cleansed of all our, my, of all our misdeeds and so be suited for the remedies of your compassion. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration has ended. Go in peace to love and serve our Lord. Thanks be to God.